Hey, that ain't Mike could do it better. I ain't tripping off all that shit. What's going on? What's going on, man? It's your boy Richie Fay TV, man. I got the real Kenny G in this motherfucker. This man worked real hard, man. Pop your shit, dog. Man, real Kenny G in the building. Mr. Already Famous, man. AO2 on the way. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me at Real Kenny G on Instagram. I'm in the building with my boy Rich and Fake TV. We about to go up right now. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. So I'm going to tell y'all how I discovered Shawty. I was um, on Camerson Road at the liquor store, my favorite liquor store and shit. And I was getting me some motherfucking drink. And then I came in and I seen bro had the flies, man. Show him the flies real quick. Oh, you gotta keep that. Bro had keep the, the flies. flies you know what I'm saying? Bro had the flies and he was just promoting himself, man. And that and that I reached out to him through Instagram. I already kind of seen him on Instagram, but I, when I seen him, how he worked and how he was promoting himself, it really made me want to work with him. So, um, what gives you that drive to like really, you know, go out and just promote yourself like this, knowing that it's a big pool when it comes to Atlanta? It's a whole lot of rappers, but like, what give you the drive to really promote yourself? Uh, that like promotion that that set you different from the other artists like everybody can rap mm -hmm. but can you tell people you can rap mm -hmm. like everybody like it's not that easy to walk up on somebody and be like hey man I'm such and such such and such so it's like a skill I acquired that's really like the first thing I really did in music was promote I used to promote for other artists I used to promote for clubs I used to you know mm -hmm. promoter hit me up like hey man we finna go hit the parking lot with the flyers you know what I'm saying we finna go hit the mall so it's that's my sport, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like what I'm made for. So it's just that's what it said me, help me, you know, keep me grounded. Like I can do the music but I can promo real good to get the music out there. So that's what helped me. I feel that, I feel that. So with being from Alabama, what is the difference between like the music platform, Alabama music platform and Atlanta music platform? Uh Alabama music platform, like it's not like so many people trying to help you. Like, out here it's like, they got like, so much different avenues. Like, it's only like certain avenues where we come from. Like, you gotta be doing this, or they not even gonna listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Or you gotta be this type of person, or they not gonna listen to it. Out here, they hear your music, they don't care what, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes, so. It's just like, the demographics is different too. Like, we, I'm from a smaller town, like this is a big city, like, it's so many people here, like, you know, and where we from, like, we, they ain't seeing nothing. They ain't seeing that much. So it ain't that much to talk about if you ain't seeing much, you know, so it's hard to, like, level up. So it, it's good talent where I'm from, but it's just, like, we can't really level up because of where we at. Like, it's a, you know, a complacent, we in a complacent state, so that's what's going on. I feel that, I feel that. So how do you adapt to an environment like this when there's so much people, so much shit going on, but coming from a smaller city? <laughs> I'm made for this yeah. shit, bro. Like, I'm made for this shit. Like, this, this is what I like, like this. Like for real, I was born in New York. Mm -hmm. So like I was born in a big city. Mm -hmm. So it's just like my folks moved to Alabama. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I got the New York mind state, but I got the down south, you know, finesse. So it's just like, that's what helped me out. It's real, it's like, I don't know. I like to learn too. Mm -hmm. So in Atlanta, it's like, you learn something every day. You learn something new every day, every day, so much stuff, so. That's like how I adapt. I get out there, I learn, you know, I be willing to learn, so that's how I adapt. That's smooth, that's smooth, that's smooth. Um, having a, a good job that was paying you good wages, what really made you want to quit your job and just jump out here and become an artist? Like, having having that job, like, when I worked that job, like, we they taught us a word, like, it's a Japanese word called Kaizen. It's K-A-I-Z-E-N, Kaizen. It mean continuous improvement. And they used to tell us that every day, continuous improvement, continuous improvement. But we in here every day. Mm -hmm. But they really just mean like, how can you continuously improve their company? Mm -hmm. So I used to like just take it into my own self and like, I want to improve myself every day. So it's just like when I got ready to quit, like my manager, I was telling him like, you preach to us about this every day, Kaizen, but I'm not doing nothing. I'm here every day like, you know, like, I gotta do something, you know what I'm saying? I gotta improve. Like I can't just be here forever. Like twenty seven dollars an hour, mm. that ain't no money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it just like well it is, you know, it's money for somebody who's comfortable with it, but for me, like I got different goals and aspirations. Like I want generational wealth. So it's like I can't I can't do it. 
I feel that. I feel that. So, with your with your song you came out with, F a Diploma. Um, <laughs> degree. That, F a Degree, I'm sorry. F a Degree. <laughs> how did that come about? Oh, man. Yeah. It came about, like, I I was going to the studio, right? I was in the studio, and it's like, I was, I, I was in the studio, and I went in, and I was getting ready to record. Mm -hmm. And when I went in there, uh, like, the engineer was just, like, giving me bad vibes. Like, he was just like, you got the beat, bro. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, I don't record like that. I just, yeah. you know, I come in, I find me a beat. You know what I'm saying? We could do something. We'll make something happen right now. He like, told you to send the beat. You know you know how they right, how sure. people do, you know? Yeah. So, like... I started telling him, you know what I'm saying? I started asking him the price, like, how much does it cost? How much do it, you know what I'm saying, does a session cost? So he started telling me, like, man, it's $50 to master or whatever. So I was like, bro, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want you to master it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want you to record it because yeah. I know people where I'm from yeah, and where I stay at right now in the A yeah. who going to master it and mix it for me. Yeah. No, nah, bro, you got to get mastered, da, 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 da. I got a degree for this shit and is you going to record and all of that. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> okay. I'm like, you know, like, I really ain't want to, like, argue in there, so, yeah. you know, because in my workspace, it's like, yeah. where my piece supposed yeah. to be at, so, I just, like, all right, you know what, bro, pull up a beat then. Yeah. So, that beat came on, as soon as it came on, it played, like, the first part when it say, doom, I said, load that one up right yeah. there. He like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, load it up yeah. right now, Mr. Degree, you feel Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just rapping and shit. Yeah. So, I said, you know what, save it as fuck a degree. Yeah. So everybody in the room looking like this nigga here. Yeah. So shit, I just went in there and did it. I did shit like thirty minutes flat. Yeah. You feel me? So it's yeah. just, that's how it came about. But it's not really to say fuck a degree, bro, because yeah. I went to college. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. My friends got degree. Yeah. My business partners got degree. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like it's just to say like you ain't no better than nobody, nobody. because of what you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I engineer real artists that yeah. sign every day. Yeah. But I went there like I got a degree. I got it like. Yeah, you can't even, you ain't yeah. even, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know what level I'm on to yeah. be saying that. So, it's just like, you know, it just really messed my vibe up. It really something that, you know what I'm saying? But it came out to be a really good song. <laughs> yeah, you know, it you know did, it did. Yeah. You showed like a lot of sense of humor. I like the way how you, you, um, you got the dance crew to come in there. The oh, dance, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to teach it. DFOD. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they that from was my smooth. city. That was smooth, that was smooth. So, what is the biggest obstacle have you overcame since you've been here in Atlanta, as far as the music game go? Mm. Um, I, the biggest obstacle I say, I don't know, bro. I be I be facing them every day. Yeah. Like that's what I do. Like you know what I'm saying. Like that's my life. So, you know what I'm saying. So I can't say which one really the biggest. It's just like the most trying to trying to juggle like you know doing doing both of them both at the same time like engineer and rap at the same time, like, it's really hard. Cause I be in the studio, like, I might, you might call me, or artists might call me to do a session, like, we in there for like eight hours. You think I want to go in the studio and rap? Yeah. Like, I been sitting in front of the computer. So it's just like, and then one of my partners would tell me like, bro, you got to train yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to train, you got to continue to do it. So I like, start forcing myself like to do one song a day after I record somebody, you know what I'm saying? So that, that was kind of hard for me, like, Cause for real, I, I was be engineering every day, so I ain't recording nothing. Or I started recording, so now I ain't making no money. I'm engineering, so it's just like, like I learned how to learn how to put them hand in hand. So it's just like that worked for me though. I got it though. It's up. It's up. That's it's lit. up. Yeah, I better know that. That's lit. That's lit. We finna go check out the video. Fuck a diploma. Say it right, right. A no. fuck a degree. Fuck a diploma. Fuck whatever that shit. <laughs> hey, fuck certification. Hey, hey so, yeah. Right. Fuck a degree, man. You feel me? All right. Introduce us to the video. Hey, y'all check out my video right now, Real Kenny G, Fuck a Degree. Y'all ain't here for the degree. Y'all ain't here for the degree. It's the heat, nigga. Dignity, Captain, ain't stuck no deal. Hoo, 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 hoo,
fuck a degree, bitch. I'm in these streets for real. These niggas capping, ain't studying no deal. Talk about liberty, the shit that they did. Nigga don't play with me, play with your kids. Smoking on Zada, he smoking on regular. All in my pocket be full like my schedule. Broke that nigga, can't need stand next to him. Got guns on me, I'm flexed up. All of my hoes, we long, they extra. All of my song be hitting the billboard. Shooting a movie like Steven Spielberg. They can go, I get that set just like Peter. Fuck nigga, Google me, check my network. Nigga, the vibe just making my head hurt. Yo, baby, mama, see y'all on my line. She wanna fuck, but I ain't got the time. Fuck nigga, ring I keep me on eye. He think I'm losing, he losing his mind. We in the dark, my chain be shining. Slow head, just bought a new phone, we ride. I'm in the A with them dirty bird fly. Watch how I whip up a photo of nine. Same man, nigga, don't fuck with your kind. I cannot fuck with her, see it not fine. I need a 10, no, I can't do a nine. I'm on this side, you see in my eyes. How they on me, I do not see why. They keep on hating, I'm going over high. How do you reframe yourself for being less confident? In a, in a big swimming pool of rappers in the city like Atlanta? I just go, you mean like, like... Not get you. discouraged, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you in the city, there's a lot of rappers out here, a lot of people promoting their music. How do you not get so, now how do you not get discouraged with seeing all this competition? Cause it, it, it ain't no competition. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I'm not, I don't look at them as competition. Like, we all doing it. Like, I work with everybody, so like, I don't get discouraged. You can't scare me. Like, I'll tell you something, because, like, your knowledge. People scared to tell people stuff, because they scared they're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, better than them. I'm not scared. Like, I don't care. If you, if I tell you something, and you make a million dollars off of it, you'll never give me that. Oh, well, like, I'm not going to die. But I know I'm going to make a million dollars off of what I know. You get what I'm saying? Like, so it's just like, I can't, you can't be scared of, of what's out here. Like, I just go hard, for real. Like, so you know, it don't bother me at all. I feel that. I feel that. So, do you worry about how people perceive you as an artist? No, at all. You don't understand. I have no care in the world about that because, like, I never thought I was gonna be rapping. You know what I'm saying? I came in the game managing, so it's just like, I nobody went there with me when I decided to rap. Nobody went there with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just go. That's why I do so much. So, so it's like. You, your opinion is your opinion. Let's go. You feel me? I'm still gonna do it. So once my mind made up, it's up. I feel that. I feel that. So what type of love do you get from your city when it comes to your music? Because I remember we had a conversation. You you know you know to have a sense of humor. Yeah. So how do you make people in your city take your music more serious? Man, it's kind of like really moving to Atlanta. That's what made them take me serious. Like it was so hard when I was in Montgomery, bro. It was hard. Cause like Alabama period like, cause, bro, like they know me as I joke all the time like I'm really funny so like I'll be playing my music for them, like you know what I'm saying They'll be like oh you finna rap yeah. you finna rap you feel yeah. me like ah, yeah. I can play my song it's hard like I know real musical people that's telling me like bro this is you know what I'm saying this is fire they be like ha ah, that Kenny you feel me so it's just like I had to like find a way to make them take me serious and like. I ain't want to just be like angry and start going at people like, y'all don't take me serious, you know, I used to mess with everybody. Like, I don't like that. So I just like, I, I just moved out and like, now I can just see the whole market. And, uh, you know, they ain't got no other choice but to take me serious. They don't, guess what? Hey, it's checks, it's serious. Yeah. I'm telling you now, they serious, they real. I feel that. Registered. So outside of like the music industry, what is some other interests you have? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you mean like for business? Mm -hmm. Uh, like, really, I don't know. I ain't gonna say I don't know. Like, I wanna invest in, really, I wanna invest in other people's ideas who don't have the money to invest in them, mm -hmm. but have the actual thoughts and the brains to, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what exactly would you call that, like, because like my life basically is music for real. Yeah. Like so most of my stuff be music, record labels, you know, different businesses that yeah. go off music, printing companies, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you know, so liquor. Yeah. You know, the different you know. You like liquor? The regular no, I mean you I liquor. drink it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying they like liquor. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Whatever they like, we selling it. You feel yeah. me? Whatever they like, we selling it, you feel me? So that's what I'm trying to do, like Whatever it is that I can get, you know what I'm saying, my hands into, you know what I'm saying, especially if it's going to help somebody else. Because my whole goal with this is to help other people, like, not just for me, like, I don't care about this shit. I don't care about no money, none of that shit. Like, I just want to help folks, so that's how I do. I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. So, like, was it a hard transition to stop being a manager to start becoming an artist? 
No, I'm telling you, bro. I do this shit every day. I am the manager. I am the artist. I am. It's just like that. Like, I'm hard on myself just like I was on artists. Like, I really go stand in the mirror and be like, bro, you got to get your shit together. You got to do this. You got to do that. Like, that's the hardest thing to do. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, I manage myself. So it's just like, right now I was managing all this until I got here. Now, I'm not, you feel me? I'm the artist. So it's just like, I'm still doing it right now. And I'm going to manage other artists one day. So it's just like, it's just a avenue, what they call a gateway, you know what I'm saying, to something else, so. I feel that, I feel that. So, when did you de develop that skill set and that mind frame to be able to manage, like, manage, rap, and engineer at all one time? Mm -hmm. Cause those three different type of characters. I don't know. I just love music, so, I mean, I don't know. I started managing because my brother, Wayne P, uh -huh. he a rapper, but like I said, Every rapper don't like to tell people they rap, so he ain't like to tell people they rap. So I used to be like, my brother rap. You get what I'm saying? So I started off like that, you know what I'm saying? And engineering is because, hey, I, I love the studio, so I bought one. When I quit my job, like, we got like a um, $5,000 bonus check. Uh -huh. So I spent like 4500 on the studio, uh -huh. and I quit. Everybody like, you dumb, you dumb, you feel me? So I just really learned how to use it, like, to the T. And now, uh, yeah, we just, we, hey, hey, man, check them placements out. Just up. I feel that. So, what makes you happy, bro? Besides music, my family, Thank seeing you. my family happy. For real, that's it. That's it. Music in it. So, so when you get into like a low place, are you, do you ever get discouraged? <sighs> Discouraged? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes my dad, like, he'll hit me. He, he real, like, good. He'll hit me up, like, out of nowhere. I'll be like, bro, you doing good? I'll be like, what the hell? Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't get discouraged, though. It's just like sometimes I need somebody to holler at, but discouraged, I ain't never stop. Yeah. Ever. I feel that. I feel that. So when you moved to Atlanta, did you have family already out here? No, nobody. Nobody. So tell us, like, tell for people that don't know, how is that transition, like, moving somewhere, <laughs> don't know nobody, but just come out here with a dream and a goal, and now you're seeing it come true? How does that, like, make you feel? Like, you got to do it. Like, you just got to, I don't, you just got to want it. You got to want it. Like, it can't, I can't want it for you. Nobody else can. You gotta just want to do that. Like when I came here, I ain't had zero, nothing, period. So, like you gotta want it. nobody else. Like, or you ain't gonna get it. I swear to God, you ain't gonna get it. And you gotta pray every day. Yeah, that's it. Really All day. Yeah, prayer is strong, man. So um, how how often do you? I know you should say you pray every day though, but like. Do it, like, when do you just, you know, get into a dark place and a quiet place and just really just meditate? I don't just never really, down. like, I, don't, I pray all day, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, every, like, out of the blue, like, right now, mm -hmm. I might just start doing it, like, in my head. Mm -hmm. So it's just, like, all the time, bro. Like, I be like, sometimes I start off saying, God, I know you're tired of me. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> but, well, I'm out here. You know, you you know what I'm saying? Up. We yeah. hit the ground running every day. Like, it's up. So, how do you think you can make people a believer with your music to believe in God and still talk about what you talk about? Just, like, you mean, like, with my actual music? And with your like, life my, my story, like, I, I mean, that's where mine come from, faith in God. Like, one of my partners asked me the other day, like, man, how you do it, bro? Like, how do you really, like, move around like that? And I asked him, like, bro, you be praying? He said, not every day. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Not all the time. So I really don't know what else to tell you. Because yeah. that's what I do. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So yeah. I know. You feel me? I do that all the time. It's up. It's like, up. period. Right. You feel me? When I'm down, whatever, I might be fucked up. I just say, thank you, God. Yeah. You feel me? Because when it comes, hey, we, we up. Yeah. I'm going to bless the whole world. You feel yeah. me? You can't bless the whole world, but hey, you know. Shit, you can bless those who want to be blessed. Facts. You know what I mean? So, um, how did you, like, orchestrate your team? Mm. Did you have to have a new team when you moved to Atlanta? 
I don't, I hit the ground by myself, bro. Yeah. Like, no cap, bro. Yeah. Like, ain't no, ain't no, like, team for my music. Like, I engineer for a whole lot of different artists, like, yeah. upcoming artists, artists that sign. Yeah. But for me, my campaign, nobody don't. Yeah. CD flyers, nobody help me pass it. Though. Yeah. I pass out, like, 5,000 every three days. Yeah. Like, that's no, by myself. Yeah. You feel me? So, it's just like, it ain't even about the team, it's just about going hard. Like, you feel me? Like, if you go hard, they gonna find you. I promise you. Like, I ain't never, you don't never look for the plug, he gonna find you. Go hard in the trap, he gonna be like, ooh, but I got this. Yeah. You feel me? Like, if you go looking for the plug, he gonna be like, oh, I don't even know this dude, you feel me? So, I just go hard every day. I feel that, man, I feel that, man. So, with engineering these mainstream artists that sign, like, what type of game do you get from them as far as recording music or as far as making it and promoting and marketing themselves? And like, they be teaching me a lot of different stuff about like what they going through like at this present moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like most of the people I work with, we have conversations. I don't just hit the button. Like we talk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we hour in these sessions talking mm -hmm. like, about what they got going on, what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? So. It's about the, the the relationship. That's what I, that's how I, that's what I really get from them. Like like the relationship they teach you they teach you about that. Like they teach you about like it ain't about money, it ain't about that. It's about how you come off. It's about how you deal with people. It's about how you you know your energy. Like so I learned that a lot. But like for as rap, like I don't know. I be in there. I'm in there too. Like. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm recording it. Uh -huh. I'm not like sitting in there like, you ready, bro? I'm like, no, bro. That don't sound right. Yeah, say this. Know. You feel me? Yeah. Like, or not say this, or you know what I'm saying? Flip your words. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that help an artist because you never know where the song may go because he might be about to say something. And if you just sitting there, like, not even paying attention, you might be like, don't worry about it, bro. Go to another bar. Yeah. But if you paying attention, you might be like, no, bro, just get it right. Just get yeah. it right. No, and they 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 love you for that. So, like that's what I do. I help, you know. what I'm saying, why I produce, why I engineer. So it's all in science. Yeah. So do you think like certain artists may get a little intimidated with knowing that you're a rapper too, and you engineering them? Yeah, some of them do, but when I I know how to like differentiate. Like I don't know what I train myself. I know how to like when I'm in front of the computer, I'm an engineer. I know how to. That's why they let me engineer. Them. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't never be like, "Ooh, that's fire, bro! Let me get on that song, cuz." Yeah. Like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Like, it's like that's fire. Let me help you make this a hit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to put another verse on here. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why. I Like, if they do get intimidated, like, I mean, oh well. Like, that just mean they don't need to be around. They ain't ready for what we. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on a whole nother level. Yeah. So, I ain't intimidated by you. So. A lot of people I've been working with, they got more prudence than me. So it's like, I, mean, I ain't intimidated by them. They shouldn't be intimidated by me. Yeah, I feel that. So, what are you looking to get out of this, um, this rap industry, this music industry? Besides, you know, the money and the fame. Like, what message are you trying to really push across? Well, uh, creating generational wealth. Like, yeah. what and whatever it is you're doing, own it. Do like, like. If you cut grass, don't cut grass on the weekend. Mm. On the lawn service, yeah. you will make so much money. Yeah, it's right. the world is what how much grass? Like yeah. what two thirds? A lot or of something. grass. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say the numbers, yeah, but, so, but you know grass, whatever it is, it's a lot. Of, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, whatever you do, like own it. Like that's just how I am. But everybody not like that. So and learn to accept how other people are. Like, if they not like that, don't kill yourself, like, trying to make them like that. Because you're going to die, and they still going to be, like, cutting grass on the weekend. Uh -huh. You feel me? So uh -huh. you just got to, like, you know, move, move in faith. Like that. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So who planted that seed in your head, like, with your entrepreneurial mindset? Besides, you know. Oh, uh, well, like, I did an internship when I was, like, 22. Uh -huh. They 100% in time in Huntsville, like, my uh, OG. And then Biz, he like, he the one took me in with this music. So uh -huh. like, 
he the one taught me a whole lot about like you know the little small stuff. So like I would say him, um, yeah. And then my my pops, he one of my big mentor. I'm telling you, he called me all the time. He he made sure like you all right you in the studio. Yeah, so good. So how do you think people that don't really have a relationship with their father can make can have a better relationship with their father through time? I really don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah. I be thinking about it sometimes. Yeah. Like, damn, I got a dad. Like, yeah. sometimes she made me sit, like, sad. Like, damn, my partner don't got no dad. Yeah. Damn. I know what he going through. Yeah. You feel me so sick? Cause I know what my dad do for me. Yeah. People need that, you know, sometimes, especially yeah. in our community, in the black community, we don't really be having our fathers like that. And yeah, reinforcement. Yeah, and if we do have them, they kind of selfish and they got their own little thing going on. So um, that leads me to this question. So how could your music bring the black community together? Because I know your music is really happy and bouncing. You know, it's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we can have fun. Like, like, ain't nothing like having fun. Like, when everybody together, all the energies is, you know what I'm saying, good energy. Like, the music is going to, you know, bring people together. Music is life to, you know. I saw a blind man walking the other day. You know how he was walking? He was tapping on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He can't live without it. He can't even go nowhere. He can live, but you know what I'm saying? He can't live how he feel he can live without the, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just like, the music gonna bring, bring the community together because like, what else I'm gonna be able to do? Like, go to the school because of the music. Uh -huh. Go to, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm gonna get there and talk about what I'm talking about in the music. I'm gonna get there and, you know what I'm saying, be able to explain to the community how I feel about it. So, mm -hmm. it's just, that's how I can do it. So, with music being like such a big influence, do you think like music have programmed our minds, especially the black community and us black brothers, to want to kill each other more? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really be doing politics like that. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. I really be just, I don't know. I ain't gonna just say that because it's a lot of people. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't. I don't know about that. Like I'm just saying. I'm. I'm just. Cause you're, I'm just, I know. You're, I know. Just, I know. Like so, music is real influent. It, it real influential yeah. to like you know what I'm saying others. But like I'm gonna just say that's what's just making people want to kill each other. Like it's stuff going on out here. You know what I'm saying. Music make you want to do something. Period. Yeah. If you listen to a whole lot of sex music, it's gonna make you want to have sex. Yeah. You feel me? You listen to a whole, so it's yeah. just like music is just influencing people to do stuff. Period. Yeah. Not just kill people. Yeah. It's just that's what people focus on. Yeah. Like, that's what. It's like a lot of people yeah. doing other stuff because it's people that's jumping off buildings because yeah. of music. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. people that's doing other stuff like people that's doing good stuff because of music. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that's what they like to talk about. Like, People killing each other because of the black music. No, it's not true. Like, uh -huh. There's a lot of people getting money because of black music. There's yeah. a lot of people growing, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I be on. Yeah. So you have a, a, a unique type of vibe about yourself. You know what I'm saying? So what separates you from all the other Alabama artists and all the Atlanta artists that's here now? I can do more than rap. Uh -huh. like, I know the business. Like, I know about the, like, paperwork and stuff that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, like, but musically, like, you know, I'm in the studio all day, every day, like, any chance I get all the time. So, like, I get more time to work with my craft than other artists, because I'm an engineer, and I rap, but other than that, nothing but really. Smooth, smooth. So how important is it for you, for an artist to know the business side of the music industry? It's very important. That's the first thing you need to know, period. Period. Are you gonna be like everybody else? Like the business is the most important. Like it's ninety percent business, ten percent rap. That's why I'm so like good with it because I never knew how to rap, but I knew the business, which is ninety percent of it. So then when I found out how to rap, that's like a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm a machine. You get what I'm saying? So like that's how I move. Like you know, I just basically my rap. The rapper is just. I created him mm -hmm. to listen to me, yeah. like, cause artists are hard headed, bro. Yeah. Like when I was managing artists, be hard headed. I'm like, I ain't doing that, cause I don't need to do this song. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain stuff that you gotta do. As long as it's not out of your morals and values, that you know what I'm saying. It's certain stuff you have to do, like 
be active with, you know what I'm saying, your followers and your friends, you know what I'm saying, your fans, the people who listen to your, this is a different day and age, so it's like, I had to create the rap part of me, is I created that, like, dang, I wish somebody would just listen to what I'm saying, it'll go right, yeah. you know what I'm saying, everybody think I'm just, oh, you think you just know what you're talking about, but that ain't, it ain't that, it's just like, if you just, you see what I'm doing, you feel me, like, you see what I'm doing. And then most of the artists that I manage, I got more mixtapes out than them already. And I've been rapping for two years. Yeah. Not even two years. Um, you feel me? Yeah. So it's just like, and I'm about to get ready to drop my new album. Yeah. So y'all, oh yeah, y'all ready, get ready. L2 on the way. Finna drop that new album, boy. Oh, hey, boy, boy, boy. boy. <laughs> Actually, we got some bangers on there, boy. I'm telling you. Y'all get ready. We going extra big, though. You feel me? Alabama in the building. You already know how we rocking. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, um, how did you work on your patience and your delivery to to give information to an artist as a manager? Um, um, at first I was I was learning with them. You get what I'm saying? Like I was I just started managing their rapper, you know. So I was learning with them, but like it's hard to to be patient with. You know what I'm saying? Like you mean like as like. Like they're not listening. Yeah, they're not listening. Going. And then you having to deliver it to them, deliver it to them in a certain, in a certain way where they can understand and want to listen to what you're saying. Yeah, they gotta want to listen. Like, they, yeah, you gotta have a real relationship. If it's somebody who don't want to listen, they're not gonna, they're not gonna listen. Just you never met somebody who can battle just because of who you are. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like dang, you don't argue with them, but you will argue just with me just because I said something. So. It like sometimes you gotta know you gotta know who you're dealing with. That's why you can't just man anybody, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I that's how I do it. Cool. I know who I'm dealing with, I create a real relationship with whatever I manage. Cool, cool. So how many mixtapes you have out? Um, well, I think four. Four. Three. Wow, so you really four. Yeah, three. Shoot. And I'm getting ready to drop this new album. Smooth, smooth, smooth. So how did you put the album together? Like, um, I really wanted to make, like, trendy songs because I can do all types of stuff with music, you know what I'm saying? Like, my catalog, I got a lot of songs. Like, in my heart, I got a whole, whole lot of songs. Mm -hmm. But it's just, like, finding a sound that somebody, they, they, accept, they accept a lot of stuff, but, you know what I'm saying, find a song that they continuously want to listen to, you know what I'm saying? So that's how, like, I used to, like, have different types of sounds on the CD. But this one, I made it like, kind of like sound, you know, in the same realm, so people would listen to it with the same ear every time, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like a lot of artists go, all this stuff sounds the same, but you listen to all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how it go, like, sometimes. But that was hard, because, like, I don't like making songs that sound like, like, it's hard for me to do that. i would be like, oh, that's cheap. Yeah. You know, but. You gotta do it. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you do have to do it. It's like, you know, they get that one sound stuck in there. You got to do it. Shit, yeah. You got to watch. I'm telling you now, artists, when you're in the studio, watch what you're doing. And I'm telling you, because whatever they love you for, I'm telling you, they're they going to want you for whatever. That other stuff will be whack. I'm yeah. telling you, whatever it is, it's whack to them. <laughs> yeah, I'm right for real, I'm dead serious. Right about that. So watch what you, you know what I'm saying? You got to watch what levels you go to and what you put out. Like, it's. Some songs that I know that's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, some people don't, you ain't never heard somebody say, I don't want to sing like that no more. Yeah. I don't want to rap like that no more. Because they can't continuously do that. Like, they're not comfortable continuously doing it all the time. So, you, you gotta find something that you're comfortable doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So, what was your favorite song that you recorded? Um, Ain't Nobody Gonna Save Me. Ain't Nobody Gonna Save Me. Ain't Nobody Gonna Save Me. That's a good one. That's a good one. Considering the fact that if you're not signed by no one, you gotta put all your money into it, all your time into it. Like, how do you really put a good, successful project together? Mm. So, see, like I said, like, I just, I just run my, like, my business. I'm a label. You know what I'm saying? In my, in myself, like, I'm working on getting my label and stuff started right now. But I'm a label in my own self. So I run myself, Kenny G, real Kenny G, as a business or label like and I intern with the record label so I know the ins and outs I know like how they started on the tape and how it go all the way through so it's just like you know the little doing the project management for us getting all the songs together doing a whole bunch of songs like like what I do for this tape I ain't, I ain't gonna even lie most of the time though I already be having a whole lot of songs and then one day 
Something just come over me. I made like five songs. Yeah. And they be sounding like kind of alike because it's the same, you know what I'm saying? The same type day I'm taking, I'm thinking the same. So, like, it might be five. And I might pick three of them and be like, ooh, these five right here. So, once you got three, you know what I'm saying? You get to find it, you know? So, I do different methods. I listen to it 8,000, 8 million times. So, that's what. And I really like try to pick my beats real good because. That's what people like. When they like the beat, they listen. When they listen, then they hear what you're saying. When they hear what you're saying, then you know what I'm saying, they'll vibe to it. So that's how I do it. That's real, that's real. So you've been rapping for two years, right? Mm -hmm. So in the next two years, where do you see yourself at musically wise in your career? Um, on the billboard, on the charts. I want to get on the billboard. They know I want to. I'm going to get on the billboard. So that's what. That's really what I want to see myself. It's like once you get up there, it's just like once you get. I want to go number one though. So you know that ain't easy. Like that's a hard goal I set for myself. But you can do it in a real fast pace if you just work at your pace. You know what I'm saying? You can do it in the, like it'll happen if you pray and you move. So. It's happening for other people it's faster than you know yes. you ever thought it would happen. So it's just like that's what's next. Be a boy, get my you know, grow my fan base, getting it, getting the deal. So when the deal comes, it's just it's time. Like solidifying it basically. Yeah. Basically, I want to solidify you know music because like you said, I had a good job, but like, that was what they call scrape. For for life, yeah. you know, pension, four hundred one k, dude, you know, yeah. that type of stuff. But you know, I I want more, so that's why I got to go on right up there. I feel that. I feel that, man. You know, well, I, I really appreciate you for coming to the show, man. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you too, man. Take a good vibe, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah. man. And just stay consistent like you've been doing. Yeah. Stay handing out your flyers. And we gonna stay rocking with you, dog. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? And my nigga Kenny G, man, you wanna yes, say anything before we slide? Hey, man, this is what real Kenny G, man. Alabama in the building, man. We in ATL right now. Rich and Faith TV. Already famous, man. You already know. AL2 on the way. Y'all get ready for that new album, man. We gonna be a new single on the way. Y'all already check me out on Instagram at real Kenny G. Come.